Woolly and Wee Woolly. They are Woodrow Wilson's sheep. Woolly and Wee Woolly. They are the White House sheep. Okay, Wee Woolly. Last time we discussed all types of animals in the White House. But it's time to discuss man's best friend, the dog. Woodrow Wilson loved dogs and has a wonderful quote about dogs. He said, if a dog will not come to you after having looked you in the face, you should go home and examine your conscience. I bet there have been many canine paws on the floor of the White House. Any other good stories about dogs? Oh my, where do I start? So many presidents have owned dogs while living in the White House. We spoke about President Roosevelt's dog, but there's another President Roosevelt and another famous dog. President Franklin D. Roosevelt, our 32nd president, had a famous dog named Fala. The black Scottish terrier had quite the life. A constant companion to the president, Fala slept in her chair at the bottom of the bed. He was there for breakfast because when the president's breakfast arrived, so did a bone for Fala on a very special silver tray. Fala was so cute, all of the staff would love to offer treats. The president had to tell the staff no treats because Fala was getting too sick from too much food. Fala even had his own code name, Informer. That's one famous dog. You said Fala slept near the president. I saw an amazing doghouse in a book one time. Who did that belong to? You must be talking about the doghouse for our 40th president, President Ronald Reagan's dog, Rex. The doghouse was designed by a descendant of President Hayes. The doghouse, designed to look like the White House, had portraits of the Reagans on the walls and even red velvet curtains. That's one nice house. Rex, a cavalier King Charles Spaniel, even flipped the switch at the National Christmas Tree Lighting one year. The lucky dog. I remember hearing my friends talking about a book called Millie's Book a while ago. Wasn't Millie a famous presidential pet? Oh yes, Millie, an English Springer Spaniel, belonged to our 41st president, President George Herbert Walker Bush. The book you've heard about was written by Mrs. Bush and was to be a, quote, dog's eye view of the White House. People loved that book and the dog. Millie had puppies and one of the puppies was named Ranger after the Texas Rangers baseball team. Mrs. Bush was very, very proud of those puppies. A friend of ours, former United States archivist Don Wilson, can remember attending the White House luncheon hosted by Mrs. Bush. When all were finished eating, she had all of Millie's puppies brought into the room. One of those puppies was Ranger. How exciting for Mr. Wilson to meet Ranger so early in Ranger's life. Apparently, the only ones who did not care for Ranger were those White House squirrels. Ranger did enjoy chasing them all around the grounds. My absolute favorite dog belonging to our 44th president, President Barack Obama and his family. President Obama had promised his two daughters that if he won the election, the family would get a dog. A gift from Senator Ted Kennedy and his wife, Bo enjoyed life in the White House. His favorite spot was on the lap of the First Lady. The Obamas decided to get another dog, Sonny. Together, Bo and Sonny made the most of their White House years. Do you know what I'm the most excited about? What? I am so happy to see Champ and Major join the White House. Our 46th president, President Joe Biden, has two German Shepherds. Champ was getting older, so the Bidens decided to adopt Major from the Delaware Humane Association. I love the story about how Champ got his name. The grandchildren suggested it because President Biden liked to use the quote, Anytime you get knocked down, Champ, get up. I cannot wait to hear about the adventures of Champ and Major in the White House. Maybe our friends can help us be on the lookout for news of the presidential dogs. And maybe our friends can let us know their favorite presidential pet. Until then, paw power!